Let's all become junior chemists for a minute. So uh, here's uh, ethanol combustion on the top. The ethanol molecule with uh, three and a half oxygen molecules produces uh, two carbon dioxide in, uh, molecules and three water molecules. On the bottom, we have gasoline. This would just be a nominal gasoline. Uh, if, like we've heard, it's a mixture of many components, but that would be an average. Uh, once again, uh, fuel and oxygen is required to have combustion. The, when you have complete combustion, your products are carbon dioxide and water. There are several other parameters listed here. Uh, H to C is the hydrogen to carbon ratio. Now, if you think about uh, hydrogen as a fuel, you know, hydrogen is kind of a neat fuel in many ways because when you burn it, the product of combustion is water. It's hard to get much cleaner than hydrogen. So as you increase the hydrogen to carbon ratio, you're adding more uh, combustion of hydrogen as opposed to carbon. You can see we're at 3.0 as opposed to 1.8. The oxygen to carbon ratio of ethanol is there is oxygen in the fuel as opposed to gasoline where there's no oxygen in the fuel. Having oxygen in the fuel once again helps you because you need to have oxygen to combust, this, uh, to combust the hydrocarbons. Uh, octane number of ethanol, fairly high, around 110. Uh, you know, typical gasoline could be 93, or you know, depending on what the exact blend is. Heat evaporization is another, uh, com another item that we'll talk about a little bit later, but heat evaporization is the amount of energy uh, that's released when you evaporate a given quantity, in this case a given mass of fuel. So if you take ethanol, say, and pour a little bit of it on the back of your hand and blow on it as it, as it vaporizes, your hand will always get very, very cold much colder than it would if you did the same thing with gasoline. And we'll talk about it in a few minutes on why that's very beneficial. But if you just look at these reactions, and look at the products here. We have three molecules of water and two molecules of carbon dioxide. So we have 50% more water than we, uh, than we do carbon dioxide in terms of number of molecules from the reaction. If you look at gasoline, you see you actually have more carbon dioxide than water. So you can start to get a feeling just by looking at the chemistry or stoichiometry is a nice big uh, chemical term that we like to look at when you're talking about what the reaction is of a fuel with oxygen. Let's go on to the next slide. So just a little bit on hydrogen carbon and oxygen to carbon ratios. Uh, we talked about hydrogen burning very clean. Uh, having some oxygen bound to the fuel also increases efficiency. Uh, blending gasoline with ethanol reduces CO and unburned hydrocarbon emissions because these are CO and unburned hydrocarbons. That's two instances of emittance where it wasn't able to get enough oxygen to go completely to CO2. You have a shortage of oxygen. 